Of course, it is never easy to watch someone you love in pain. Brandy Evans watched as a brain disease slowly took hold of her father, his function, his conversation, and eventually his life. Well, now she and her husband are on a crusade for a cure with help from someone they met by chance. Here's NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak. First of all, I would never wish this on anyone. Brandy Evans knew it wouldn't be easy to sit with us and tell us about the moments her family broke. And it was a really tough and challenging thing to see for a man who was so strong, not only physically but mentally, to just deteriorate right before our very own eyes. Neil Foster, her dad, had just turned 63 years old when what started as a pain in his leg became something much worse. It just takes everything away from you. It takes away your ability to function properly, to carry a conversation, losing your motor skills. What Brandy's family later learned is that Neil had something called Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease, CJD for short. His brain was slowly destroying itself. That wasn't our dad, the things that he was saying, that wasn't him. His brain was just misfiring. That was three years ago. Now Brandy and her husband Jeffrey say they have a new purpose, educate the public and find a cure. Ultimately, it's a death sentence. And, and like what happened to my father-in-law, Neil, as soon as he started showing symptoms, um, within weeks, he was gone. They've become somewhat experts on the disease, but it was over a cup of coffee that Jeffrey made the connection he hopes could lead to a cure. And all of a sudden, I was about to leave for the day, and he looked up at me and he said, you must be an executive of Nespresso. And I said, well, actually, no. Jeffrey is the director of Nespresso's boutique shop in Beverly Hills, and the moment that came next set the seed for what could be the latest research on CJD yet. Exactly just said, and what do you do, sir? And he said, I'm a neuroscientist, which honestly, took my breath away. After I met him, I spoke to our team and uh, basically we are uh, also starting to focus on using neurophotonics in uh, CJD. Dr. Babak Katab is a scientific director at California Neurological Institute and the president of the World Brain Mapping Foundation. His team developed a new approach in using light to detect brain abnormalities like CJD. The normal cells have a different light signature than malignant cells. We are looking at the molecular level of uh, protein structures, function and malfunction. It can get complicating. It is brain surgery after all, but any attempt to find out why CJD happens in the first place, Brandy says, is a step forward for those who may one day suffer from it. I would hope physicians would, would see this and would be curious to to gain more information. And for Brandy, it's even more personal. CJD has two forms, one of which anyone can get. The other is genetic, and she knows she could carry the same gene that took away her father. There's a 50% chance. You know, that's, that's just something that I live with each and every day. The Center for Disease Control says the disease is so rare, only 350 are diagnosed each year in the U.S. It's, it's a really devastating journey. That's where the CJD Foundation comes in. Debbie Yobbs is its president and says they work with families to connect money raised for research with scientists willing to take on the challenge. Which leads us back to Brandy and Jeffrey. They'll host the first ever local Strides for CJD at Beverly Hills High School next Sunday. Brandy perhaps taking a page from her father's playbook. It's just so important for us to get out there and do something about it. And trying to connect lives to save lives. In Beverly Hills, John Cadiz Klimak, NBC4 News. And you can find out more information about the Strides for CJD event next Sunday on our website, NBCLA.com. Just search brain disease.